Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to install Windows XP. Make sure you have XP. Alright, create a partition. See? That's fine. That's 10 gigs. And then you enter to install. Quick NTFS, or you do FAT. I recommend uh, NTFS. Formatting. The only reason why I'm selling XP is because it's lightweight, small, and it can use a lot of software. It's not used. Um, mostly for like uh, sound making, like uh, FL Studios, like Waves and stuff, because like the VSTs haven't upgraded yet to the new 8 level, and um, there's some nice tools I want to use. So I'm switching back to XP. Um, no better way than VM, right? So that's the only reason why and just let me jabber jabber about why I'm installing XP. Cause it's one of my favorite operating systems. Um yeah. This I'm on Windows 8 right now, but like I installed the start menu, so this thing, shell, see Windows 8. This is legitimately Windows 8. Installing, installing, installing. I have to bother with that because it's very booting. See? You know how many times I've done this, man? Like, I've done this like so many times as when I was a little kid. Like, so many times. Formatting, formatting. Sort of being boring, but this is this is what we go through. I should just pause the tape and continue. Maybe I'll just pause it and then uh, come back because this is basically this the loading screen for like. Yeah, let's pause it. Okay, now we're back. Next, my name is Jason. My organization is uh, Jason C. Yeah, let me go to average. Let me go to Jason. Jason's. No, let's call it XPVM. XPVM is my group. Next, password. 
mm, I don't need one. I don't really care because it's a VM. But you should set one. Not a big deal. Is that today's date? Yes, it is. And then installing again. I'm gonna pause the tape again. So until something drips up. So yeah, I'll be back. So I'm back, loading up again. Okay, click OK. OK. The heck? Air break? Never mind, did not break. Thought it broke. Let's see. Is that internet or not? I have internet, so I'm good. It's fine. Um. Never. Yeah, I can make the resolution bigger. Maybe I can make it less project. Okay, um, since I'm on VM. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna insert the disk. Next, next. Okay, I'm not gonna use it there. Reboot my computer. Good old XP, guys. It's always bridged. Okay, um, now... Later. The internet's working now. Damn, it's so quick, man. So this is how fast it is on a i7. Um, okay, I'm gonna download Team Viewer. So I can drag and drop files in and out. Well, we'll see if it works or not. If it doesn't work, I, I create a shared directory. Yes, yeah, I use Selena. This is Selena Gomez with the camera check. Why am I down it's so slow?
No isolation run on timeline. I got down the over this side, so give me one second. Oh, they have a Linux too. Like a lot. No run one time. Alright, this is how you log in at Team Viewer. Still loading. Yes. Told you, I'm on 8. So many permissions, it's ridiculous. What is it? It's not allowing because I'm doing two instances of it. Give me one second. See, now it's working. Um, so you want to type in this number? Here we go. I think that'd be wrong. So password is nine seven five three. And now I am in the computer. So if I wanted to example drag files in. Go my documents. Let's test it out. Uh, sorry about that. Um, web development. Let's try to drag in something really small, like this. I'm gonna drag this in. I guess I do FTP then. Uh, 
I'm going to turn on this spot then. Yeah, it's in. So I have to do FTP. Yeah, so. So, I am in, and I will. So, I have to use FTP. That's, but it's not really FTP, it's like. Uh, so, yeah. Alright, that's about it. So, hope you learned something from this tutorial, and see you next time, guys. Bye.